Hey, what's up? We're Bears and Bright Lights. Watching Breaking the Mold. Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian out on the streets of Freehold, and I'm standing here with two members of the band Bears and Bright Lights. So guys, how you doing today? Doing all right, man. How I you am doing? doing good. I'm doing all right. So um, I, I say the first thing probably to do, since you guys are, are such a new band on the scene, is to maybe introduce yourself to the uh, viewers at home personally. All right. You go first. I'll go first. Uh, I'm Zach. Uh, I sing for Bears and Bright Lights. I sing and play guitar. Um, yeah. I'm Mike. I play bass guitar for Bears and Bright Lights. Yo, motherfucker, fuck you, bitch. Fuck and you. all right, that's a great way to start off the interview. Um, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> and uh, okay. Well, anyway, so let's first off let's get an idea of what Bears and Bright Lights are. Let's let's see. Um, so first off, it's an interesting name. Who came up with it? What's the story behind it? Um. All right. Well. I was up extremely late one night and uh, I was looking, because at the time before we, we had started as a band, I had started Bears and Bright Lights. Um, I started a side project just playing acoustic by myself, pretty much not meant to leave my room. Um, but you know, I was looking for a name for it, I didn't want to go by my name. So um, I was up really late and thinking about it and uh, People are into different stuff, but I'm really into the whole power animal thing, spiritual animal thing, and uh, bear is a nickname I've had since I was little, and I feel like it's my, my spirit animal and all that, and uh, Bright Lights goes for kind of like uh, like confusion and, and different things in life, and kind of things that just come at you, you know, almost like headlights sort of thing, but uh, you know, Bright Lights can be considered anything as far as, you know, thinking about heaven, you always see Bright Lights stand alive, or just in general, just something that can really daze and confuse you, and, you know, just put it kind of together and do it together and came up with it. I think pretty cool. Pretty right, so now your first song was Dear Matt Pryor and Open Letter? Um, it's, that song is actually, it's Dear Matt Pryor, Thanks for Everything. Thanks for Everything. Um, yes. The, the song that we wrote for, together when we first started is actually started with just me and Mike. Um, just kind of coming up with an idea to start a band, and I, I wrote a song called "Everybody Gets One." Uh, that was that was our first our first song as a band collectively. So, yeah. okay, so that's great. So now your influences are pretty broad, but I mean they stay within a certain time period. Probably I'd say the mid to late '90s to early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. Um, can you kind of like describe what they are? Because it's it's pretty eclectic in a way, so to speak. So sure, you're right. Um, well, we all we all kind of listen to like all different kinds of music, but like, uh, but I guess a lot of our sound can be taken from like sort of like explosions in the sky, like post rock kind of stuff. But we also do some more like like pop rock, like pop punk kind of stuff. Like we've been influenced by like the Get Up Kids and like, Jimmy Eat World. And stuff. All right, nice. So um, you guys have an EP out? Yes. Self titled. Uh, yeah, we just kind of call it EP, whatever, whatever, however you want to take it, it's, it can be self-titled EP. <laughs> okay, so uh, just uh, give us a little details, like how can we get it, um, who, like who was the mastermind behind it all, like engineer, producer, everything like that. For, um, for recording, we went to uh, a guy named Mike Ottinger, who works up in Union City, New Jersey. Um, he was very fun to work with. It, it was it was pretty ridiculous in the studio the entire time, but we did it over the course of I think like three or four days, um, and it, it was it was a good time. Um, yeah, we, you can you can pick it up on uh, on iTunes um, or at our live show. Mike did an awesome uh, design work for for all our stuff. Um, you want to talk about that? Yeah, it's just there's a uh, the cover and the disc itself are screen printed. Oh wow! Yeah, we and like even the cases we put together ourselves, all the inserts cut ourselves. Like I hot glued all those cases together in my kitchen at like three o'clock. Yeah, in the you morning. can buy you can buy the hard copy also on our big cartel store. So. Uh, it's right. It's linked right off of our MySpace. Oh, all right. Well, that's good. Well, now it's that time in the interview where we get just a little bit deeper with the bands. So um, <laughs> first off, Zach, sure. people don't know, um, or a lot of people don't know, that you're actually a hairdresser. Yes. Okay, how'd you um, kind of get to be in that uh, field? 
Um, well, I've always been interested in like different stuff, like fashion and everything like that, and I like you know different different things of that nature. I really the way that people are put together kind of interests me, and I definitely think that uh, hair was you know hair can say a lot about a person. Um, so after I, I used to be in a band that was doing touring and like showcasing for labels, like I thought like oh this is it, you know. Well, we ended up coming back from a tour and broke up, so I needed to find a job. <laughs> so I ended up um, deciding on going to hair school and kind of took off from there. All right, nice. So now um, I'm sure you guys like to eat. Everybody likes to eat, right? Yes. Okay. So this has always been a debate of ours: um, Oreos or Chips Ahoy. Oreos. Oreos with hummus. Try it out. I promise you. <laughs> we had band practice last week, and we always raid Mike's cabinets and fridge. Dan, our guitar player, went, took out the Oreos, and then took the hummus out of the fridge and was like, you gotta try it. So we all tried it, and I think, <laughs> don't think Mike tried it. Nah. But me, Dan, and Fieldson all tried it. It was, it was really good. I don't know. I Plain Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Oreo and hummus. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm speechless right now at that combination. I'm more just an Oreo and milk guy, but I mean, you know. Uh, gotta try hummus, man. Yeah. All right, sounds good. So now just a uh, just a couple more questions. So first off, um, the one album or the one band or anything like that that said, man, I want to be in a band. You can you can go with that um, one first. I don't think. When I was younger, I was really into like Beastie Boys or something like that. But the real the band that really got me to like decide to play music was probably Blink One Eight Two Superman. I was like, the CD. I was just like, yeah, I want to learn. How to play. <laughs> I definitely would say um, MXPX, Let It Happen. That was one of the first like punk records that like, I picked up that was like, oh, this is so different. I have to, like, I gotta figure out this this culture, like everything like that. Just made me really search for, for more and more music like that. All right, one more question. Uh, so you guys, obviously, you know, you listen to actual, actually good music, unlike <laughs> a lot of people out there today. So I want to know what's one band that you'd like to get rid of that's in this current music scene? Oh, oh. <laughs> Man, drinking the haterade. Oh. <laughs> um, dude, I, I mean, there's. I don't want to name names, but I think there are a few bands out there. Bands. Let's get. Let's give a genre or, or like a description. Crunkcore. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Crunk. We'll throw that out there. Crunkcore, and I'm really sick of all the bands that are overusing auto tune. I really think that anything along those lines are bands that are just straight up, any bands that are straight up aren't a real band, that are, that are just put together for the sake of a label making money. So, I don't know, any, any of that stuff, anything that doesn't have real emotion behind it or real feelings behind any of the lyrics or anything like that, I, I am totally, completely against. Anything else? I, maybe you want to plug yourself to the viewing audience? Or... Uh, sure, um, you can check us out. Um, on MySpace, myspace.com backslash bears and bright lights. Um, and all our layout work and photography work is done by this guy actually. So you can check him out at um, IamMikeMaroney.com. So, yeah, man, that's, that's it. Thank you so much. All right, well, thank you guys. Once again, bears and bright lights, thank you guys for being on. Definitely. Check out the website www.breakingthemold.tv. This is it for Bear and Bright Lights. I'm Christian. I will see you guys later.